Here we have a question involving logs. We've got on the left hand side the difference of two logs. That means we're dividing numbers. Remember the law of logs that says log to the base A of M over N is log to the base A of M minus log to the base A of N. So that's something that we'll be using here. So let's just attempt to replace the left hand side using that law of logs. So subtracting the logs we must be dividing these numbers. And we certainly know what 36 divided by 4 is, it's 9. So we've now got a, a pretty straightforward statement. It's, it's very similar to one that we would have, for instance, log to the base 2 of 8 is 3, uh, because 2 cubed is equal to 8. There's that sort of uh, replacement of a log statement with a power statement. So following that pattern, well, I sometimes like to think of it, what power do you raise 2 to to get 8? The answer is 3. What power do you raise 2 to to get that 8? The answer is 3. So we could read this as what power do you raise A to to get 9? The answer is a half. What power do you raise A to to get a 9? The answer is a half. So we've got A to the power of half is equal to 9. There's your log statement there, and you translate it into a power statement, if you like. Now, we know a to the power half is, is the square root. Square root of a is 9. Square root of a number is 9. Therefore, the number must be 81. Or another way of, of, of doing that would be to square both sides. And multiply these indices, a to the 1. 81. Lots of ways of doing it. Square root of a equals 9. And you can see why squaring is useful there on both sides to get rid of that square root sign. So either way you try that, a has value 81.